good morning. What's up guys? Happy Friday. Um, my name is Jen the Generator and I am a high performance mindset and health coach. And I really want to talk to you today about the analogy that I want to share with you that I actually shared in my private community of like paid membership. This analogy that is really like something that changed my perspective on 2020. Who needs a change in perspective for 2020? Raise your hand, put a one here. If you need to change the angle on 2020, I don't really know that many people who don't, but I'm gonna share this with you and I think this will really support you. So I love to help people generate their own power, right? So they can start blowing up the lies and beliefs that hold them back and stop blowing up their life. That's what I love to do. I love helping those high performing driven women that have maybe gone too far. Maybe their hustle is too hard and they've forgotten how to soften into their femininity, um, their connection, right? And I also love helping that woman who is maybe behind the scenes. She's still getting after it, but she might have forgotten how to use her voice, how to be confident, and how to really put herself out there. So if you're ready to change the angle on 2020 and you're one of these two types of women, listen up. Okay, this analogy is epic. And I want to share it with you. I don't even remember where I heard it. It, it was years ago and I kind of shifted and changed it to help it really resonate um, in a way that helped me. So hopefully this will support you. Okay, here's the thing. So I want you to imagine, okay guys, I want you to, I want you to go on a little journey with me right now. It's okay. Put on your imagination hat. It's cool. It's all right. <laughs> Put it on. And I want you to imagine you're getting in a motorboat with me, like just me and you. We're like going in a motorboat right? And we're going on a motorboat and our intention is like, we got to get to that horizon that we see out in front of us. The horizon that, you know, when you get on the water and the ocean and you see it, it's way out there. And all you're thinking about is getting to that horizon, right? And we're in our motorboat and, you know, we're together and it's just me and you in the motorboat and we're chugging along and we're chugging along. And we're going for it and we're going for it and we're going for it and we're striving so hard to get to the horizon. And what happens along the way is there's dolphins all around us. There's like a whale off in the distance like with its big blowhole coming out, right? Like water spurting up. There's all this beauty around us, but we don't see it. We don't see anything around us because we've got blinders on trying to go, just trying to make it, just trying to get there, trying to get to the horizon. And all this beauty is happening around us, all of it. But we're so focused on just getting it done, just getting there, that we forget to look up. We forget to connect to each other. Like we're in this motorboat together and we haven't even had a conversation. We're just like, go, go, go. Right, and then all of a sudden, we're like going so hard, going so hard. There's Nina in the background. <laughs> going so hard that our motorboat starts to sputter, it's like, sputtering out because it's out of gas. Our motor is running out of gas. And so because we've pushed it so hard, it's ran out of gas super fast. And now we're stranded, right? And now we can't even get to the horizon. Can't even get there. So this is what I wanna share with you. How much are you pushing yourself to get to the horizon that, that honestly, as soon as you go faster and faster and faster, it just goes further away from you. The harder you push towards it, the more you get pulled back, right? The harder we push forward, the more we're getting pulled back because we're going so hard at something. So what if we had slowed down? What if we had found the connection between the two of us? We'd had deep, meaningful conversations along the way. What if we had looked up and seen the beauty that was there? What if maybe we're just like, hey, there's dolphins everywhere. They're beautiful. There's a whale in the distance. Let's throw an anchor and let's sit back and observe. Be in the moment and experience the beauty that's right now, the good that's around us. And what if we actually, instead of looking towards that horizon of where we've got to go, where we've got to get to, we've got to get to the end. What if we turned around, right? What if we turned around, looked back, at land, looked back at land and saw how far we'd come and then acknowledged how far we've come. What if you did that today? What if you did that and acknowledged how far you've come in 2020? What if you sat back 
got connected, looked around and said, wow, this is the beauty that's around me. This is where I get to land. I get to throw my anchor in and look around, look up and enjoy the moment of being where we are right now instead of striving to get it over with, to get done, to get it finished, to put it in the books, to be done with 2020 and to start striving and striving. What if we just stop looking forward for a hot second, acknowledge ourselves for how far we've come and then anchor down to the present and get given ourselves and the people around us connection and gratitude for the beauty that's around us right now. This is what I always say, life is now. Life is right now, it's happening right now in this moment as I'm speaking. It's not tomorrow, it's not, this, it's not the horizon, it's the right now. And when we can reframe that for ourselves, going into 2021, being in the moment of right now, don't miss the opportunity to see the beauty around you right now. It's not all bad, there's beauty in everything. And this is part of that divine feminine. It's about the ability to sit, to pause, to reflect, to sit into it, to be with it, to acknowledge how far you've come and give yourself grace. You got this, sis. You got it. You've got this. Just pause today. Acknowledge yourself. You're worth it. All right, you guys, I love you. Thanks for letting me manage your mind and being here with me. I so appreciate you. And you guys, I'm going to do something fun in my Facebook group. If you haven't joined, go over there. It's called um, it's, it's She Ascends to Freedom, and it's um, super cool because I'm going to be giving you super fun giveaways this month um, to just enjoy Christmas and to be in the energy of generosity, which is where we all get to live, and we're better when we're there. So join my Facebook group. You can learn all about it. If you're not on my email list, do that. Get on my email list so that you can understand what I'm doing, what I'm giving away, and why, and then you can be a part of the fun. All right, you guys, I love you. Thanks for being here again, and I will see you next time.